During the Middle Ages, when these stories of King Arthur were written, it was said that one of Arthur's knights, Percival, went searching for the Grail and eventually found it at a place called the White Castle in the White Town. And in the early English, Whittington simply means White Town. And what's more, right at the center of it, there is a castle known locally as the White Castle. So there is a white castle in a white town. I believe it's from Whittington that the very earliest stories of the Holy Grail were set. Historic documents also link the Grail with Whittington Castle. In the 13th century, the castle belonged to the Welsh Lord Folk Fitzwarren. A medieval manuscript telling of Folk's life and adventures claims that he kept the grail in a private chapel here at Whittington. Centuries later, Folk's descendants are said to have removed the grail from the castle and hid it in the family estate. In the 1990s, Phillips embarked on his own quest to find the mystical object. Phillips tracked down an extraordinary item. A small stone cup that may well be 2,000 years old. Historians have identified it as an ancient Roman scent jar used in funereal practices during the first century AD. Phillips's theory is that this cup was linked to the crucifixion and burial of Jesus, or at least that the medieval lords of Whittington believed it was. If so, it may have been an inspiration for the legend of the Holy Grail. It is impossible to know if this small vessel really is the Grail, but it has as strong a claim as any other artifact. <laughs>